This is our second video blog. We're very excited. <laughs> we're just like, we don't know what to do uh, with ourselves. I know. Okay, so we're going to introduce ourselves yes, first. Yes, we didn't introduce ourselves last time. My name is Jessica Harris, and I am the Director of Exhibitions and Collections. And what that means is I help take care of all the stuff and then put them on display. Okay, my name is Mary Beth Webster, and I am the Collections Manager, which means I manage all of our <laughs> objects. I thought you were going to say collections. <laughs> I was going to, but you can't do that. <laughs> we wanted to show you what is called a light pull or a sign pull or a fan pull. There's lots of different names for it. And bottle riders. And <laughs> we're so just like, first, before we talk, like show you some of them, we're going to show you how we store, store them. them. That's right, because cardboard is actually acidic, mm -hmm. and acid can obviously eat through items. So we put it in an acid-free folder. And then inside we have buffer paper, which basically is a buffer between um, if there were other objects in within the folder. Like more, like two of the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. We usually like to keep, keep them, them together. together. So this is a buffer paper between the objects. And then on the inside is the actual object. Let me put that down. Whoops, sorry. This is either a light pull or a fan pull, whatever you want to call it. And this is, I really like this one because this is very Art Deco-ish. And um, because of the green and the silver and the lines. And uh, it's, let's see, pretty thin. And it's made out of cardboard. And apparently it was $13, <laughs> whoever bought this. So I think this is, these in it, in and of itself are pieces of art, mm -hmm. I think. And, and most of the things that you'll see will have the tile logo, the Good for Life logo. And um, so that's what we're going to show. So you also Maybe. may notice that we are wearing white gloves. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's to protect the uh, paper objects. And because we have acids and oils on our hands. And that's where we leave fingerprints. That's the oils. Even if your hands are really secure of all this This stuff. is not a light pull or a bottle rider, but it's a shelf talker, I guess, or a, a counter sign, which is made out of the same material, which is cardboard. And of course we have the Good for Life logo. So this is the same time frame. I would say 19, uh, 1930s. And it would sit on the shelf of a cafe. And you can see on the back, it has like the little thing that can pop out, pop out to sit on the shelf. All right. What and else? We oh, this is a good thing to talk about. Um, this is a bottle rider that would fit on a bottle that looked like this. This has the. This also has the Good for Life logo that would fit with it. Um, we're not going to put it on because we just don't want to bend the the actual artifact, but. This is interesting because, look. yeah, get it closer. This is actual, an actual celebrity from the 1930s. Um, what is her name? What does it say? Uh, Eloise Salem. And I'm sure she was some kind of actress or radio star or, or maybe just a really good model. And I think they would photograph them, uh, right. not paint them, but then photograph them and then lithograph them. Hey, Mary Beth, I have this friend and he loves Dr. Pepper, but I've given him everything that's online. Can you help me out? Sure, Jessica. All you have to do is buy these beautiful reproduction prints exclusively at Dr. Pepper Museum store that we have Valentine's Day, Cal Girls, Christmas, anything you can think of. They're beautiful. They really are beautiful, and I think they'll be perfect. Are those in an 8x10 frame? Show enough. These look great on your wall. Framed, matted, whatever you want. Any color frame, it'll look great. That is perfect. Where can I find them again? Exclusively here at the Dr. Pepper Museum store at the Dr. Pepper Museum. That's at 300 South 5th Street off of I-35, isn't it? Waco, Texas, 76701. This one is probably one of my favorites. It's so colorful. 
And this is this is a light pull or a fan pull. Here's your string. Whoops, sorry. And it's on both sides. So no matter where. This is Patricia White, photo by L. Willinger. So your photos. Nice information. On so this would you could put this during the fall. So this is a seasonal. Oh, seasonal. Great. Very colorful. And this is a this fun is cool. one. Oh. This is a bottle rider, obviously. This is for root beer. So Dr. Popper was not the only people doing this, but I think this is. It's <laughs> also it's. He's so cute. Cool and love it. refreshing in a sailboat. So. Okay. <laughs> Masons. Ooh, we like this, this one. This one is cool. This is not in as great condition. Lots of water damage. Mm -hmm. But it's just <laughs> very cartoony. You could see something like that in a newspaper from the nineteen late 1930s, probably. Boy, oh boy, what a snack. Yeah. Just, and this this was a... It's a light or a oh, fan pull. You, you can, can kind of see the hole. It's not the same on the back. It's looking at the around. back yeah. with all the water damage. Yeah. Ooh, that's why and you have to keep it separate. That's right. We have to be buffered. Now, if we wanted to get this restored, we could, but we are not professional enough to do so. So we'd have to get a professional conservator to do so it. So we just stop any further damage by putting him in his own folder and putting him in a safe place. Actually, they use these. Here is another pull sign. That is not Dr. Pepper, but it's um, Kissed, which is orange, but it all, it's also on both sides. And we just like think it's, it's just, it's so beautiful and it's so vivid and it just looks like a real bottle. It's like life size, so mm -hmm. it's like the same size as a real bottle B, and has all the same information on mm -hmm. it. It's just really cool. And that's probably the original string, and yep. it was in a really good condition. Very exciting. Let's do this. Okay, so. All right. One last one. We'll do that one. No, nope, one. that one, because that one does not have the word right. coffee on it. <laughs> okay, so. See, there. Seven Up also did them. Here you go. That's for Christmas. It's for Christmas from Seven Up. Or, no, excuse me, <laughs> Season's Greetings. Season's Greetings. This is probably 1950s, I would think. And it has a little spot where you could put how much it costs. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so that's our video blog about bottle riders, fan pulls, and counter signs.